on behalf of the sponsors of the promotion of proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian Family Values Bill, and I dare say on behalf of the Parliament of Ghana, since thanks to the proceedings today, we know that all 275 members of Parliament support the bill. We just want to say a very big thank you, first and foremost, to Almighty God, who has given us the grace to see today. Secondly, we want to say a very big thank you to the Right Honourable Speaker of Parliament, Right Honourable Alban Tumana Kingsford Bagbin, and his two deputies. We want to say a very big thank you to the leadership of the House and to all members of the House, and also to the leadership of the committee who worked with us. We also want to say a very big thank you to the coalition and all support groups that have worked with us outside of Parliament. Today is yet another milestone towards the completion of the processes leading up to the passage of this bill. This bill is bipartisan, enjoys support across the aisle, as you have seen today. We want to celebrate our brother, Reverend Intim Fojo, and, and all the other sponsors who have worked with us on this bill. The, the President of the Parliamentary Christian Fellowship, Honorable Emmanuel Kwesi Bedra, and in fact, the entire membership of Parliament. Um, we stand united to say that Ghanaian values are non-negotiable. Ne non we will not compromise on our value system. Yes. And we are going to stand united as a nation. We call on the Ghanaian people to support us as your members of Parliament as we pass this bill. We, we are aware of the attacks and the threats that have been made. But like we serve notice, we're a sovereign nation and we will stand for what is Ghanaian. And we also want to make safe notice to those issuing the threats that carrying out those threats will be a high-risk enterprise here in Ghana because we will come on the floor of parliament, use your platforms as media houses because we know you support this bill, and publicize every business that is from that country in this country that operates in Ghana and call on Ghanaians to boycott them. So if any government of any country thinks that they will sanction any of the sponsors of the bill or the Speaker of Parliament after this bill is passed, they should prepare to pack up and leave our country as well. Because we would also instigate public outcry against their business interests in our country. If they work here, they must respect our laws. Because when we visit their countries, we respect their laws. And until we see them carry out those threats against the likes of Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Ukraine, or, or, or Russia, Kuwait. Bahrain, Kuwait, the United Arab Emirates, Russia and China, then they should stay off Ghana. We are committed to ensure that under the guidance of Right Honorable Speaker, we would go into the consideration. We expect the consideration stage to be a very swift one. Because even though there are a number of amendments, those amendments are largely a product of agreement between the sponsors and the committee. And so there would be hardly any cantankerous debates on the subject of those amendments. We cannot preempt any other amendments that will come on the floor of the House. However, we are guided by the support of all 275 and so if any member of the house has an amendment that would alter the object of the bill we are serving notice that the rest of us if any one member comes you should prepare to face 274 who will oppose that amendment but we have the belief that within a day sitting maximum two days sitting we should be done with the amendments in the consideration stage and have the bill ready for the third reading, which will pass it into law. We also hold a strong view and conviction, given the comments that were made on the floor of the House by leading members of government, that once this bill is passed, we would also see expeditious action on it by government uh, to pass it, to give presidential accent to it, for it to become law. We assure the executive that as a legislative arm of government, if they act with expedition, we as legislators across the aisle will stand with government against anybody 
who tries to take government on because they gave presidential accent. We are standing united as a Ghanaian people on this bill because this is not about us. It's about our children. It's about the onslaught on the Ghanaian child. It's about what is already happening in our schools. And I'm excited that Honorable Intim Fodjo is here with us, Deputy Minister for Education, because there are schools in Ghana that are beginning to introduce elements of LGBTQ and CSE in their operations already. They may claim to be foreign schools, but no school can operate in Ghana outside of the remit of the Ministry of Education and the Ghana Education Service. And so those schools should take notice that the ministry will be duly apprised of their activities and sanctions would apply accordingly. Mm -hmm.